So I just got this in the mail. It's a package with no marking on it. I do know what it is though. It is two different dimmers. They're two of your base dimmers and they're Wi-Fi and they, one of them seems to be quite unique. Something I've not seen before. Uh, hi, just quickly, this is Future James and if you do actually want a dimmer and you're looking for one, you should probably pause the video, go and order one of these and try it because they are really awesome. Okay, back to the video. So we've got the two dimmers here and it's very similar to the one I had a look at about a month ago that I bought from Bunnings, but this one is not from Bunnings. So I've got two. So that one looks almost, that's basically exactly the same as the one from Bunnings, except this one is a two wire device, so it doesn't need a neutral to operate. And the one that's even more interesting is this one here. It is a rotary dimmer. It's Wi-Fi and it's a two-year dimmer. And I am pretty keen to try this out because as far as I know, this is the only rotary smart dimmer that I have seen for the Australian market. And I know that people do prefer the feel of the rotary dimmer and they find it easier to use. And I can't wait to give it a go. So we're gonna try this one out today. Okay, so I've just pulled it apart as I usually do. And it actually looks quite well made, this little dimmer. And it has the filtering capacitor there and a MOV to protect the MOSFETs from voltage spikes. Um, it's got the two MOSFETs inside on this heat sink plate. And it looks like there's a temperature sensor attached to this plate as well, which is pretty good if that's what it is. And it's got the encoder that, that keeps for dimming. And it's got a button built into it to turn it on and off. And some lights here, some blue LEDs. And it has a two-year module here. And this is not an expressive one, it's just a, another brand. Um, so you couldn't really flash that the normal way. But this does work, this will work with two year local and be able to connect to the home assistant. Um, so that's pretty, pretty cool little dimmer. It's got the clear cover there so that the light shines around through the plate um, underneath the little knob. I've noticed that this doesn't have any labels on it. So that could be a pain if you come, if someone were to come and look at it later, um, there's nothing labeled on here. So I might just get a marker pen and I'll put the labels on these terminals. What the labels, what they do on the instructions here. So basically um, we've just got the active and load. So that's very simple. And you can also add an external switch. So you could use this in a two way switch arrangement. So you can have this at one location, this dimmer. Um, and then if you have a two way switch set up already, you can swap them for push buttons and then you can use the push buttons to turn it on and off and dim it as well. And interestingly, it has a, on, I measured the voltage coming in on this contact here and there's about 50 volts um, DC, or about 25 volts AC. So it's actually um, higher than a lot of the other smart relays, which means it'll work better with uh, normal mains rated push button switches. And also you're less likely to get um, induced voltage which will cause it to turn on and off on its own. So this potentially could work very well, this dimmer. And it looks very awesome at this point in time. A very, very cool, smart rotary dimmer for the Australian market. I think this is like at the top of my list now. This looks great. Okay, so you're gonna see one of the cool things about this dimmer and that's how simple it is to install. So um, I've just got a switch here. It's a straight up plain switch. It turns on the down lights in my living room, which are Unios down lights. They're the Dusk series. So uh, as you dim them down, they go warmer, they get warmer. And when you dim them up, they get cooler. Um, so I'm just gonna remove the switch here. So we've got the active and the switch wire going to the lights. And of course the power is all entirely off. Now not every setup is gonna be the same or as easy, but Generally speaking, this dimmer is going to be pretty straightforward for an electrician to install for you. So I've just put my markings on the dimmer for the light terminal and the active terminal. So 
So that's it, we've got it installed. And we're just going to clip it into the switch plate. We can just remove the standard mech. And as you can see, this will, could go into a three gang plate, a two gang plate, or a one gang plate, or a five gang plate. And it clips in like so. So I guess conveniently you could maybe fit three of these and that's pretty much it at the most. And then we'll just screw that back there and then we can give it a test run and see how easy it is to set up. Okay, so once the dimmer's on installed and the power is back on, then you'll see that we've got the blue flashing light in there behind the, the knob. Now, unfortunately, I have found that once this is set up, the light doesn't get, seem to get used at all. So that's obviously a software thing and I'm not sure why there's no option to allow the light to be used other than when it's just for setup. So I found that a little bit strange, um, but when it's flashing like this, it means it's ready to um, be paired with the Tuya Life app. Okay, so I've just opened up my Tuya Smart Life app and the dimmer has actually, I've pressed nothing and it's already just popped straight up. So I do even need to press plus. So I'm gonna add that Wi-Fi dimmer and press add and I'm gonna enter my Wi-Fi details into there. you obviously enter your own. And then of course, once we've got it in the Tuya Smart app, we can go in and use the method that I've already posted a video about, about how to get your local key. And then you can use this dimmer with Home Assistant using Tuya Local. So that's all successfully added. We can now just give it a name and we're done. And that is the light. So we can control it from here and we can turn it on and off. Like so. Okay, so we're just going to jump into Home Assistant settings, go to devices and services, and come down to add integration. And you will need to have to your local installed, which you can install through the hack store, or you can install it manually. And um, we're just going to come in and add a device, and that's our device just here. And we've got the IP address and the device ID, which we can get from the to your platform when we're getting our local key. Uh, so I'm just going to paste the local key in here. And then we're going to hit submit. Okay, so the first entity we're going to set up is a light entity. And the data point one is the switch, so we're going to leave that there. And data point two is for brightness. And we can give it a name here as well. And that's all we're going to do for the light. Now we're going to unclick this because we want to add more entities and we're going to select a number and that is going to be our minimum brightness data point three and that will be a value between 10 and 1000 and then the last one we're going to do is going to be another number and that's going to be the countdown timer so that will be data point six and that's going to be from zero to eighty six thousand so we'll submit that and then we don't want to add any more so click submit and we're going to stick it upstairs in the upstairs area and that is finished and done all right, so now the important part, we just want to test out this dimmer to see how it works. So I'll dimmer right down really low. As you can see there, the lights are down on a nice low level. Um, like, as I said before, they're Unios lights and they're called Dust Series and they're pretty cool down lights. And then we can just bring it up like so. And that's up to full brightness. And then we can turn it on and off with the push of the, bu of the button. Okay, so we can see our light on the Home Assistant dashboard and if we come here we give it a press and we'll see it turn on, like so. So that's responding to the actual press of the switch and we can dim our light down. And that's where I've got my minimum brightness set at the moment. And then I can increase the brightness of the light like so and turn it off. So as you can see it's very responsive and of course I can do the same uh, with the from the Home Assistant dashboard. I can adjust the light level and turn it on and off. Okay, so that's the new Rotary Smart Wi-Fi dimmer. And I would say that it's at the top of my list. I really like this dimmer. I've been using it for a little while and it's great. It has a lot of good things going for it. It's easy to use, it's intuitive. You turn it to go down, you turn it to go up, press it to go on and off. So good wipe acceptance factor. Um, people that aren't interested in tech can understand how it works because it's exactly like the dimmer they've been used for to for years and years. So that part of it I really like. It's got, um, it's relatively easy to connect to Home Assistant using Tuya Local and it's all in one unit. It's easy to install. 
it's two wire, it doesn't need a neutral, so it has a lot of good things going for it. On the other side, there's some minor things that, that it doesn't have. For instance, it doesn't have much control over how the um, dimming works. It doesn't have a kick start mode. So that means you've got to set your minimum brightness up a bit higher than you um, perhaps might want it. But I haven't really had an issue with that. Like it's fine for me. I haven't had a problem that, with that really. And um, it's probably a little bit harder to install or connect a home assistant um, because you've got to look up your local key. But once again, once you know how to do it, it's like not that hard to work out either. So basically the pros way overshadow perhaps some of the cons. And um, on the last thing too is just that light, the backlight behind the dimmer. It would be nice if you were able to use that or make it either come on or turn off. Uh, but I guess that maybe they'll change that in the future. And uh, for 50 bucks, which is what I got it for um, at the time of the film in this video, um, I think it's actually a pretty good deal. So I think it actually works out a bit cheaper than the Shelly dimmers as well. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's the dimmer. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos about home tech and automation, uh, just subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye.